Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video, the first bit of fixing, the pump is stuck. So we'll put on the go spread in slurry. We could not get it to turn, so we took apart that. She is rock solid. It's been about two weeks, I think, or maybe near heading for three weeks since we used it last. Um, now there's rain, it's time to get slurry out. She's full of oil, she was putting in oil. Um, we think she's just She's just um, stuck up in. So now we'll have to open up all that, pull the hole off, and then hopefully free it up and whack it back in. You know, in theory, but if there's a vein broke or that in it. But the thing is, she finished working, didn't she? Yes, fine. Everyone was fine, so it must have just from lying, it has stuck. Where it does, when she's filling, she does have a tendency of spitting out slurry, so she's pulling slurry back in and putting it through that which wouldn't which is probably the reason why it has stuff but yeah the drives it so we'll have our tools we'll have our gun and we'll whip it off also as Liv is just after clearing a rocker on the stone rack but yeah so it opens up handy Right. It's not spinning freely anyways. Take them off. There could be a circuit clip in that pump. Right. There it is good. Yeah, there is a circuit clip on it, alright. Yes, the players. Right. I lost it here for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. So that's the that oil that's in that. That's the oil that gets circulated into it, is it? What? The oil that was under that. Yeah, but well that goes into the into the. That goes into the pump through the bearing. Not through the bearing. No, 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 no. no. Through the. Through, why are you trying to ask me now? Well, because that's the bit. No, that's because the it comes in there. That's that's only driving. That's the pump. Yeah, that's driving that. that. Yeah. yeah. But it also oils that beard. So when that starts up, that's going to oil that again. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not something the oil has to be oiled. Right. Search for pliers. Sure, black anyway, is that stuff? I don't understand why that's in it because she should have been blown off her last load. Yeah. That shouldn't be in it. Should not be in it at all. Probably after. Well, we had our silage cut, hadn't we? Before we done thingies. Why? Why? Oh, this would be water, might have been the last thing. Yeah, but she's still be blown Still, off. yeah. There's too much of a bike right there. Right, go guess. That size. Longer. Right for that fucking Hmm. Lovely. In a breaking a shaft in the back end of a tractor one time. The shaft on the back of a tractor? Yeah, one of them snapped. The broken shaft is in the back of the tractor. As in the PTO shaft or inside the tractor? Oh, inside the tractor. Inside in the tractor. On what? 699? No, no, it was a neighbor's tractor. Oh. Time for you, working one of Clean them up, that's all. Maybe a sandpaper on. Sandpaper and sand them. These other two out now. Oh, that's the one that was sticking or wouldn't pull in. Yeah. And I said these two were stuck in there long time. Yeah. The same thing must be done with the other tanker. 
I take the end off it and clean them out. Clean it out. Still saying that that tanker is far quicker than the other tanker. Yeah, well, the other one could have a vein stuck or two. Yeah. Oh, right. Still yeah. So I power wash that out now or? Yeah, power wash it out and get something. Maybe one of the veins. You go upstairs onto the loft, there should be veins. Aye, from the time <coughs> we've done the... Just not to be using them ones. And, and clean it. Clean it out. Yeah. Diesel. Diesel. Get a little yoke of diesel. Wash it out. Wash it out first. We'll go for the coffee. Yeah. Well, don't know. You would have prefer, uh, persevered there now, you'd have snapped it in. Yeah. I often done it in the umbilical pump. Break it in. That's not pretty deep. But no. Not too bad afterward. No, 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 no. You mean it. Maintenance. That's Maintenance. All. I don't know why that's stuck in it now. Normally. Because that be. should have all been blown out, as you should said. Should have been blown out, yeah. Actually, no, she's, just, she's gone a little bit rusty, but hmm. that'll disappear in the first five minutes. Yeah, it just wouldn't help with that stuff stuck in it. Nope. That's what see stuck her. So have it all put back together now. Um sanded, washed with diesel, greased, well not greased but oiled up. So just going back in now, yeah, have the other side. So um yeah, hopefully now put this all back together and she runs, hopefully. And it is a few days I think since we've done the last tanker where the vein stuck and now I'm gonna do the other tanker a uh, hydraulic Abbey tanker we've had since 2013 10 years and I don't think that's ever been open I don't have a remember of being opened some of all do for a while and I said after doing that one now I actually know what has to be done so I have to whip that off take off a sir clip so that then the plate comes out and then we can get into the veins because there's no doubt there's a vein or two stuck on it because this tanker is quite slow to fill now this is the smaller vacuum pump compared to the other tanker i think the other one is ten thousand and this is eight thousand or the other one's thirteen thousand and that's ten thousand something like that there is a couple of thousand in the difference we finished pumping we're piping the last two days we got back there at half seven i think it was this is we're going tankering tomorrow this is there's Oh, now it's on for this evening, this is right, I'm going to get this done and then I'm going to run through, grease the, this tanker and then go in and grease the other tanker and just leave them right but um, yeah, so I have a barrel of oil, have the gun now let's just crack it open and it should be the same as the other one should be the same, so I should be able to do it also, not the best attire for mechanic because oil kind of stands out a bit on it, but it be alright <laughs> Seven is too loose. Do not want to drop them, or I have a job to clean. That was the oil. I think if I pull this pipe off and lift it up, the oil is not going to. Or if I leave this up, the oil isn't going to come out. But because all that is is that pipe comes to the bottom of the oil tank which keeps that and that little add-on there is the pump for the oil so it pumps up the oil in a circuit and then can you see it so this here is a valve and then that allows oil to drop in and then drop down into the veins which helps keeps it all lubricated that's its purpose yeah so that whole ring is to sit on that seal now shove my bucket of oil out of the way so I don't drop the circle clip in. Oh, come off handy enough. To separate this plate off, can get a chisel to try and pull it off the shaft, but if this is the same as the other tanker, some of these holes will be treaded. And it's just a matter of um, screwing them back into it.
Osmar wind them both of these in. Bit by bit, bring them in equally. <coughs> Not just off enough yet. Let's go get two longer bolts to do that. No, I have two M10 bolts, so I think they're M1040s. Yeah, great to have the huge selection of bolts up on top of the loft. You just you need it at all, bolt wise. You just have it. These have a 17 head on them. That's it. That actually, compared to our other tanker, actually looks fine. I actually think none of them veins are, them veins are in perfect order. Yeah. This turns out that this tank is just a slow tank. The veins are perfect. That was an unnecessary trip. But, I, I would have always assumed but just by based on how slow or this much slower this tanker was that we had veins stuck in it. But it's just a smaller pump. And you can see now I'd say if we had the two tankers side by side, you'll probably see the difference. I think the difference is like your gaps there. So that the other tanker brings has larger veins and brings more air in and out, and that's why she fills quicker. But they're fine. There's a bit of a twist on them so 10 years of work and she's 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 perfect absolutely perfect i was fully expecting it wouldn't have surprised me if there's like one vein in it working she's free turning everything so i don't need to do anything else gasket has a wee bit shook now the gasket's kind of gone so i might just get some gasket maker and just put it on it just to seal it up again because i don't have a new gasket and there's no reason why that gasket should have come off bad but yeah she's she's absolutely there's Doyle that we'll put into it and she's she's bang on the money you can see there you can see the wear that's in the in the veins 10 years work at least now I know she was perfect there was no need to do that but anyways hey if you take anything away from this video <laughs> I learned from the first tanker how to do that so this is right I'll do that to this one oh, I, I could have swore how much slower? As I two or three thousand liters or whatever the pump is, I think it's I think it's liters a minute. I, whatever way it is, that's just a smaller pump. And the other tanker will if you pulled in at the same time, this tanker will be half full. The other tanker's full and out the gap. Could have swore there was some a vein or that stuck, but everything is perfect there, so just bash it all back together. I get the grease going out. We grease her up. But anyways, to anyone who's watching, if you want to take apart your vein on your tanker i think it took me five minutes to do that if i had all the tools with me would it well i say five minutes i'd say five minutes if i had everything with me i had to stop and start and all that but yeah that's perfect clean up the bit of oil around it big gasket sealer just to replace that bit that's damaged because i just don't have a new gasket for it do the same job and then we'll whack her back on Clean off. Forget to get a hammer. See, can we improvise? Bear and everything seems good and tight in it. All we gotta do is just get in far enough to the bolts will take a hold then the bolts will pull it in the rest of the way yeah tighten them in to make sure everything tightens up first 
last one you tighten. Those are the last one you tighten. And that's our clip back on. if it's going to contain itself again they need to match up and that is that back together good for another while should i have changed the veins or not i don't know um still making contact and that so yeah it's quite surprised at that now Next job is get the grease gun and we start greasing the tanker. So axles, straw bars, double bars, all the bars. So oh, how much you can see there, grease the draw bar. Or slides up and down on the springs. But the Milwaukee grease gun Superb job, absolutely superb job. I haven't used one of the manual greasers in a long time. Stick it on and you hold it with the other hand. So you have one hand to hold this, one hand squeeze and trigger. Happy days, not like before where you had to try and wrestle one leg of the yoke again and be starting to prop pump. That was the nightmare. Find the grease nipples here. Is that machine done? And that's the only green sniffer on the hydraulic system. I think I'm going to have to bring it in and unfold it to grease the double bag. that tanker done except for the dribble bar as you see it's not on a tractor because we're pumping with the 76 so when it goes back on tomorrow we'll graze the dribble bar on it should be good for another while but as you'll see both our tankers are run on hydraulic systems no ptos i'd highly recommend it definitely it's just peace of mind and um, you send anyone out with a tanker you know there's no shaft for them to get caught in and not alone that, but when we did have shafts on tankers, I, uh, I seen one time, brand new shaft was put on a tank and sent out, lad spread slurry grand, come back, and he had a hin he had a 90 degree bend put in it. And we don't know how, we assumed the lift, it must have been a twist or some lift arm caught it and absolutely my shaft, brand new shaft. And that was it, gone. Another new shaft had to be put on it. 10 years with that tanker, and the hydraulic pump has never given any trouble. The only thing is, in the last week we replaced the supply pipe to the pump. It's just started to leak. And we just replaced it before it did burst. The one thing I will say though is, the one that's on that came from Abbey. It's a harder pump to run. Whereas the one on that is a safe shaft system that we got fitted or a hydraulic mower. And it's very, very easy run in comparison to that. When we had the 6290XL. Work that tanker 100% with the dribble bar, running the pump, master it a whole lot, spread away the finest. But yeah, just for anyone who does see them, both tankers are running hydraulic motors. Can't recommend them enough. They do take hydraulic flow and they take a bit extra power, but there's peace of mind and there's no more replacing shafts when you have a driver gets caught in the shaft and just twists it into an ass. But anyways, look up. That's really it for today's video. So. Two tankers serviced up well, raise that one. Two vein fixed in that one, and then now that I've seen that one being done, it's like grand, I know how to do that one, I'll get that one done now, because I could have swore something was wrong, which is just that bit slower, but it's just the difference in the pump sizes. But tankers are all serviced up, greased up, ready for another while at slurry. Yes, the both tankers are dirty, but we are at slurry at the minute. We don't keep our tankers washed when we're at slurry. We wash them when we finish slurry, just because it's. Uh, I just find a pointless thing trying to keep them washed when you're working them 
all all day long or for a couple of days in a row it just seems to be pointless to me but look we'll get them washed when we're finished next week we'll see the end of the current work of slurry it'll all be done that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it for me good luck <laughs>